As the wheat crop hits its stride, OSU Agriculture's field days and plot tours are well underway. Today, SUNUP's Curtis Hare takes us to Grady County for the event at the Chickasha Research Station. Thanks, Lyndall. You know, one of the great things about coming to the field days isn't just looking at to see how the wheat's doing, it's also running into old friends like Steve Calhoun. And Steve, it was about a year ago that we met last year, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, That's so, right. so how have you been? Uh, great. You know, you came down then to check on our wheat and see how things were going in Grady County, and uh, we appreciate you coming down. So how are things looking this year? Last year was pretty rough. You, got, you basically kind of got like a, you know, a crop saving rain just right at the right time. Yes, we did. I had a pretty good yield last year. I was really impressed as dry as we were back early, but it, it, it came out of it. And this year it's looking even better. Uh, we just had a rain last night. We had seven tenths in my area. And so anyway, things are things are looking really good right now. You can definitely tell we're you know we're uh, getting some lodging right here. Are you dealing with any issues of lodging? Uh, not really. Uh, I haven't seen any in my fields. Uh, what we're concerned now is the weather mm -hmm. and the hail issues. Yep. So yep. anyway, we're kind of watching the weather and and hoping and praying we don't have any of those issues. Because weather in Oklahoma is always an issue, but it's particularly right here in Grady County because that I forty I forty four corridor is you know pretty can get pretty gnarly. You know. I can have one field that may have hail damage on it and two miles away, nothing. You know, it's just one of those deals, whether if you're in the right area or not for a hail zone. Well, and that was kind of the issue last year. You were, you would have one field that had somewhat decent moisture and good looking wheat and literally a field just a stone throw away that had none. Uh, that, that's right. You know, I, I've been raising wheat for almost 60 years mm -hmm. and every year's different, you know, <laughs> yeah. depending upon the moisture and mother nature and, and what all that comes out to be. Yeah, so let's talk really quickly about the field day. You know, I, you've mentioned that you come here, you know, pretty much yearly. What what do you like to get out of this? Well, for one thing, uh, I'm a manager at Ross Seed Company, and a lot of these producers that show up here are my customers. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's a social event, and then we always want to know what the new variety is, or what the new uh, uh, disease preference is coming out, or if we got any aphids, or... Uh, anything like that coming on so that we are aware of it. So we talked a little bit about weather. Have you been dealing with any weeds at all? Uh, no, I spray mine uh, back earlier to kind of control that so we don't have an issue at harvest time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, I put down a chemical for the ryegrass mm -hmm. and then I put down a chemical for the broadleaf weeds. Mm -hmm. So anyway, hopefully we won't have any issues this year with that. Well, Steve, it was great to see you and hopefully get to see you next year at the Chickasha Field Day and hopefully that you get more rain and no hail. All right, we really appreciate you guys coming down and get with Kim Anderson and see what he can do about our wheat prices. Right. We'll, we'll try, we'll try. You know, he's always got that crystal ball out, but sometimes he just doesn't know what he's gonna see. All right, All right thanks, Steve. Thank you.